As dairy farming in Canterbury has grown, so too has the labour force. Scott Searle is part of a new generation of dairy farmers. He doesn't own his own farm, but is nevertheless dedicated to achieving maximum production while minimising his use of irrigation water on the property he runs in mid-Canterbury. Yeah, well, I've been farming in Canterbury for a long time. Over the years, we've sort of I've worked here as second in charge for a few years, and then managed another farm, and then came back here to manage this farm, and then sort of worked our way up to now we're um, Laurel to share milking here. The water comes from 70 metres below the ground, so you've got a 12 inch well there that's drilled all the way down to 70 metres. At the bottom of that you've got a pump, so the pump's on a pipe 70 metres down, cables feeding down to it, that pumps the water up, comes up here through your gate valves and then this is law nowadays, everybody has to have a flow meter on, so every litre of water that passes through here gets counted and um, obviously at the moment we're not pumping anything because the rate says zero but if I turn that on it would have a rate of 90 and that shows that we're pumping 90 litres a second out through here and then that goes down into a huge um, underground system that feeds out to my irrigators. This here is hooked into the same system that feeds in through the big aerial over there and it goes up onto websites and um, at any time ECAN can see how much water we're pumping and make sure we're compliant Scott uses roto rainers to irrigate the farm. Yeah, well, the roto rainers is an older system. We've um, this farm's been set up for a long time now, and that was the the go back then. Um, slowly, you know, things are moving towards pivots, but you'll also notice there's trees around here, which is um, it's advantage you've got of roto rainers. It was sort of a theory that was sort of mooted a few years ago. Was what if you ran them at twice the speed, and you know you only put on half as much water and during the shoulders of the season you only really need to put on half as much water so you get it, it does the run in 12 hours and then you turn it off and it saves, saves half the amount of water and half the amount of power at a time when you don't need to be using that water. As well as changing the way his roto rainers operate to save water, Scott Searle has been innovative in the way he uses soil moisture monitoring. He has an extra sensor below the root zone to check that water isn't going through the soil profile. Yeah, basically it's just using technology to see what's actually happening and making decisions based on facts rather than just guessing. I mean, every farmer has been guessing for 50 years as to, you know, when to start irrigating, when to stop irrigating. What this does is, you know, it tells you exactly when to start irrigating and, you know, so you can actually see what's going on down there. You know, the power we save and the water we save is, you know, it benefits our bottom line too, so... I think people sort of see, see you as, you know, we just waste water just because we can, but there's absolutely no advantage to us in wasting water when we're paying a huge amount of money to pump it. So the savings that you can make from this sort of thing is, is massive. <laughs> 